Here we are with our follow-up video about the polar values, the polar K values, which are the values that go in your Digifly. This image from the previous video that you'll remember if you watched it showed how on your air tools you will insert your information in these two columns, hit calculate, and then confirm to get the polar values. Now those values for the given example are right here, which are the same values on this column. To manually put these values onto your Digifly, you simply get your Digifly, turn it on, mine is on, it already has GPS coverage. I go to the menu and then I scroll down to the advanced setup. Here we are, advanced setup. I enter that menu with the OK button and then I scroll down to the polar settings. Now you have the polar on or off setting which is this one and then you have three different polars and for each polar you have an A, B and C value. So I'm going to take you down this menu. Here we have polar 1A, 1B, 1C and then we go to the next one, polar 2A, B, C, and polar 3, A, B, C. Okay, so for this example, I'm just going to take polar 1. I have highlighted the point A of polar 1. I hit OK to be able to adjust it, and I take my value from the example 0, 1, 7, 8. With the arrows, 0178 in this case I go down and through this video I'll just skip to the point where I reach the value I wanted which is 0178 I hit the exit or the M button right here that is my auto save it just exits that setting and it saves it. I scroll down to the next one which is P1B and here I have my KB value to be 0389. Now I press OK to enter that submenu and I am going to scroll down to it and once again I will skip forward to the moment where I get that value. And here we are Getting close to it, 7890389, and I use my M button or exit auto save button to save that value. I scroll down to point C on my P1 polar, and from my example, that reads 0301. Once again, I press OK to enter the sub menu of the point C and I will scroll down and once again I'll skip to the point where I get it and here we are 0301 I exit and auto save with the M button and I verify point one zero one seven eight there it is point B 0389 and point C 0301. Now I go back up to the polar setting and I enter that submenu with the OK button and I am going to tell my Digifly what polar I want it to work with. In this case it's polar 1 but remember you can choose polar 2 or polar 3. I scroll back polar 1 I exit and now it's all saved. I come out of that menu into my main pages and I will go to page 11. Oops, there it was. Page 11 will show you which numbers you are using or which numbers your Digifly is working with for its polar. Page 11 will show you which numbers you are using for your polar. Oops, sorry about that. And there it is. 
once again. This is the Digifly Air tutorial videos. Simple, easy, and quite fast. Now, thanks for watching. We'll continue making more videos for you. And remember to visit us at our website, www.digiflyusa.com or digifly.com for more details.